Hello Scorpio, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective love message for your sign, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So Scorpio, um, what I am getting here is that at the moment with this disconnected card as a mutual energy between you and this person, it feels here that there might be a no contact situation, okay? You are not on a speaking terms. Uh, on this side we have time apart and surprise. I feel this person is surprised how hard it's for them uh, to not be around you here, Scorpio. Because I don't feel that this person is taking this time apart very, very lightly. Mm -hmm. And it's very surprising for them because maybe you, you dealt with someone who kind of thought that, oh, okay, well, I will just move on. And it's, and it's easy. Well, it's not that easy. That's what it feels like here when I look at the energy. On your side we have respect. I feel here very strongly Scorpio that this person maybe they did something, they said something and they felt that they there is a lack of respect on their side or this, they disrespected you in a certain way and it's like you are demanding respect and what they said here was uh, unfair essentially and it's like this person here owes you some sort of form of an apology or they simply need to ask for your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. We have judgment as an overall energy. At some point you will have to make a decision regarding this connection. Because you have someone here who is missing you, Scorpio. We are connecting with someone with whom you might have history with. And judgment is also this energy of... Uh, this person wants to, um, it's like what they want to resurrect this, this, this situation. It's like the energy of rebirth regarding this connection, which will lead to, to, to decision making, right? Let's see. Let's see, Scorpio. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Scorpio and disconnection. We have Ten of Swords, mm -hmm. the Lovers. Seven of Pentacles, King of Wands, uh, Strength. Six of Swords, Knight of Wands. Three of Wands. I feel this person is observing you with the Three of Wands. If you have social media, they might be checking your profile in order to trying to figure out what's going on in your life or what you're, you know, what you're up to. Uh, Ten of Swords suggests here that indeed something here ended between the two of you. Mm -hmm. and I feel this person betrayed your trust and it felt at the end metaphorically saying like this person stabbed you in the back well um, we have the lovers uh, to the seven of pentacles the thing is that this person is invested the fact that something here ended between the two, two of you it doesn't mean that this person moved on because they haven't they, they still have the lover's energy that they have for you because we are asking about this person's energy and feelings towards you and this connection. And this is purely about you and this connection. This is someone who hasn't moved on irrespective of what might happen between the two of you. And there was an ending with the Ten of Swords. They are still in your energy. They are still in this connection. And they are very invested in this. This is someone who still wants to be with you. Mm-hmm. 
we have a king of wands. They are very ambitious about this. This is someone who also with the king of swords and the strength have passion. They are very attracted to you. But um, they feel the bond, that they have bond with you. Very strong bond that they share with you. Six of Swords. The fact that we have a Six of Swords facing this energy, I'm getting that this person wants to come back. For some of you, there might be a physical distance between the two of you. But the main thing here with the Six of Swords, I'm seeing them wanting to come back because this energy is facing all this energy. Yeah, so something ended, but they want to come back. And it's like they want to bring more harmony and tranquility to the situation, if I can say it that way. With the strength. It's like this person wants to be very charming. And they want to uh, kind of show you they very gent the very gentle side of days, you know. But the main, I mean, issue, I guess, about this person is that they are showing up here in this Knight of Wands energy as it is additional message so i'm seeing here someone who's been very inconsistent and very indecisive hot and cold in and out in your life and that might have been that that might have been the very core of this disconnect that is very much present at the moment in this connection but this is someone who mm -mm, they haven't moved on no and that's what i was getting it's that with this time apart they are surprised that they can't move on that this time apart it's very i feel very difficult for this person because um i feel this person is on a daily basis it's like they are keep on reminding uh, of you like the universe is keep on reminding them all of you. But also this is someone who, you know, feels, uh, has feelings for you. And maybe they thought that it would, that it, it, maybe they thought that, oh gosh, it's a grandma. It would have been easy to move on. But the reality is completely different. Completely. Show me Scorpio's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please. Okay. <laughs> we have the devil. We have the two of cups. We have the magician. Seven of Wands. High Precious. And Death Card. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing... Scorpio with Gemini, I have a Leo, Virgo, a more Gemini, a Capricorn, and also Pisces and Scorpio with the Death card. Very interesting energy, Scorpio. The devil here in, as a first card suggests that you might be uh, agitated, angry, annoyed, dissatisfied with this whole situation mm -hmm. i feel that you are frustrated about what happened um but you are annoyed and i feel that you are really kind of let i'm going to say it in a nice way angry but i feel that the feeling i'm getting it stronger than that it's just like i feel that you are really annoyed and agitated maybe for some of you with what happened here annoyed that's what i am getting really annoyed two of cups because you, you i feel that you put a lot in this connection and queen of cups with the two of cups i'm getting that you have feelings for them you know irrespective again what might have happened here between the two of you 
the love is still there you are manifesting though Scorpio you really do with this magician and with the high priestess this is like a well power couple for me magician with the high priestess you are very very powerful at the moment so uh Mm. whatever you're going to focus your energy on you're going to attract this to your life and I feel that you are manifesting this connection that's why this person here wants to come back you're manifesting it Scorpio subconsciously very very strongly we have seven of wands yeah I feel that at some point you stood up for yourself mm-hmm you stood up for yourself and maybe indeed you've kind of found something that they said or they have done like a lack of respect and it's like hey, hang on a minute i have something to say here i will not allow anyone to to project that sort of kind of energy on me and this connection i feel that you stood up for yourself with regards to certain situation big time high precious and the death card and i feel that it's really kind of it's like i'm getting scorpio that it changed you but it also kind of revealed certain kind of uh, emotions things or a certain aspect of your personality and character that uh, were very deeply kind of hidden with this high precious and with the death card it just kind of i feel that this whole experience really changed you you went through a big transformation and i feel that you know i'm getting here that uh, your energy is very kind of a no i'm not going to compromise here on certain things no i demand respect that's what i am getting very strongly if if this person is unable to do to to give it to me then it's it's kind of you know i leave the situation in the past and i will move forward into the future i'm seeing you being very assertive and knowing exactly what you want that's what i want why because you've acted that way and you put me in that energy and i don't like being in this energy because i am not like this we had we had something really profound very beautiful but this person it feels like they they did you wrong here they messed things up queen of cups suggests that you still have love for them deeply inside i feel and you are manifesting subconsciously this connection that's why they want to come back if you've been wondering how this person is dealing with the situation for both of you not being in touch and maybe indeed kind of parted ways with each other they are not having a great time i can tell you that scorpio no well let's take a look you might be dealing with another scorpio of course with the death card um show me the outcome please we have ace of wands we have the tower we have ace of cups and queen of pentacles you might be dealing with aries six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck well this person will take initiative and i feel it will be quite shocking with the tower and the, the quite shocking and unexpected and it will be like oh wow i wasn't expecting that really <laughs> and, and and they coming here with with an offer of love you manifesting this scorpio magician with the two of cups and look ace of wands which is also a card of ma manifestation them because it's on their side they're taking action unexpected surprising yeah, look on their side we have energy of surprise and and the tower provides that energy energy of surprise and actually 
this surprise will be a very positive one because we have a lov lovely energy, Ace of, Ace of Cups. So it's like this person will reach out unexpectedly and they will express their feelings or they will just tell you how hard that, that time apart is for them, whatever that might be. But I see with the Ace of Cups, with the tower unexpected confession of love and an, an unexpected like a offer of of love of kind of you know on that sort of kind of nature so this person might come and apologize this person might say listen shall we try again shall we have this re shall we resurrect this connection i really want this and that's what i was getting they want to come back and they will and I feel it will be quite shocking for you, unexpected, because it might happen during this week or even sooner. Mm -hmm. Because I'm seeing this energy now manifesting. You are very, very powerful and you are manifesting this connection. And look, we have Ace of Cups, this person coming with an offer of love to you. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, it's something about them complimenting you, admitting that you've been always very caring, nurturing and loving towards them and this connection. It's like this person is just, I see them being quite desperate here, actually, especially with this tower energy. Six of Pentacles. You see, the Six of Pentacles is a card of generosity, but I feel that it's like an advice. If this person is willing to put the same energy and and time and affection as you to this situation uh, you can have this equal give take you know but of course in order to have it at the first place uh, it's like you will have to judge the situation and at some point kind of when this person will come forward make a decision if you truly want this person at the first place you know in your life because you might be so kind of a you might kind of you know for some of you, you might be completely done with this individual and that's it but for, for for a lot of you i see that you still have feelings for them and yeah i feel as well that you are agitated maybe angry annoyed frustrated about what happened here but you're manifesting this connection and it feels like this manifestation will, will, uh, will, will kind of uh, take place. I don't know how to say it. Uh, this manifestation will manifest <laughs> very, very soon regarding this connection. You can expect so much, so many um, compliments from this person. It's like this person will put you on the pedestal. Yeah. But expect that this person will take action so uh, something it will be a surprise it will be out of the blue they will reach out or they will do something in order to kind of have a conversation with you or meet up with you or you know uh, to spend more time with you or some time with you okay but it will be something unexpected i feel it will be quite shocking for you uh, or they would just kind of you know in that kind of moment that it's like, oh my gosh, I didn't expect this. And they just, out of the blue, they will reach out or they will take some sort of form of an action and they will make an offer. They will make an offer. So it depends on you, Scorpio, really, if you want this person back. Because they are coming back. They want this. And the final decision will be yours. Scorpio. I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.